What up everybody, today I have a long requested video. This is probably the video I get requested the most and it's a tour of my room slash setup slash office. I thought this would be a good opportunity since we're currently inside with the COVID-19 quarantine to show you guys what I'm working with and what my setup looks like. So I'm gonna give you guys kind of a wide shot of an overview. This is with the 0.5 zoom on my iPhone. Um, and this is a quick pan around of the room, of the setup and everything that's here. So I'll go in detail in every section and show you guys everything in my room and what I use and everything you guys wanna know. So starting from the front, here's the door. You walk in, you see these scars usually hidden behind the door. And right here we have my TV and a nice cube organizer. You'll notice everything in my room, I try to keep it modulated, meaning I keep everything kind of stored in compartments and have everything that I need for certain things all together that keeps everything more organized and keeps me focused on exactly what I'm doing. So in this particular section of the room here, I have a photo of me and my uncle. Um, I have my TV, I have my Xbox 360 and PS3. Basically, I just use those to watch movies. Uh, the Xbox 360 doesn't really get much use, but it's pretty worthless nowadays. So it just kind of sits there for decoration. And down here, um, I have a lot of different organizational items. I have camera equipment on these two right sides, clothing underneath, and uh, media, which is, you know, records and CDs and DVDs and video games over there. And then this top left is just bags. It's literally a cube full of bags. You can see it's a bunch of different bags. Pretty handy, you know, to have all your bags kind of in one go, so I can just kind of grab what I need and go. And here, Obviously we have my shoes and my hats, but I have my kind of mini home gym workout stuff. I also have some stuff up on here. And then I also have some stuff over here. I have my mat and my foam rollers. Uh, these get used just about every day, but I keep them off to the side and kind of out of the way. Okay, so moving on, obviously I touched on the shoes. I have more shoes in the back there, my hats, so I can just grab and go. These are the shoes that get used the most. And then obviously all of these. Um, took out a lot of shoes uh, in recent years, so these are kind of generally my go-tos um, and, you know, some pairs that I really like and had to hang on to. Um, there we have my bed, nothing really special there. On the other side of the bed, I have where I charge my phone and my watch. If you can see there, nothing really, a little light in the back and then some decorations on the wall. From here we kind of pan over to kind of like the busiest part of the room and the part of the room that I use the most. Um, it's my desk and my nightstand area. So let me show you guys that a little bit in more detail. So this is my nightstand kind of stuff that I use on the daily. We have my little Chinese cat that I got in Hong Kong, uh, control light for the remotes, obviously my COVID-19 quarantine essentials, got my hand sanitizer and my pocket Lysol on deck, got my AirPods and my car keys, uh, nice cup of Flanagan's water. Uh, it's actually, you know, tap water, but Obviously in the Flanagan's Cup, we're team Flanagan's in this household, obviously. Um, I have that Virgil Abloh bottle. It actually does get used. I usually put water for my plants in there um, when I'm not killing my plants and they're not dead. And always on my nightstand, I try and keep a book. This is the current book that I'm reading, The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. There's a rotation of books. As soon as I finish a book, I'll swap it out for another one, but this is the one that's currently on my nightstand at the moment. Also right here in the middle of my nightstand, I keep my daily bag here, which is my North Face Supreme bag, which I load up with stuff and carry around with me. Um, just, you know, obviously the Purell and Lysol will go in there and stuff like that on a daily basis. Uh, maybe cameras and other equipment. This is a huge bag, so I carry around a lot of stuff with me. And then my Trader Joe's bag. This will usually house my laptop, books, computers, hard drives, anything else that I need when I'm on the go. You all know that you see me with this Trader Joe's bag. Had to zoom out a little bit for this one because this is the section that gets used the most and has a lot of stuff. So I wanted to really show everything. This is my desk slash office, you know, entertainment, all of that. I do everything here and this is where I spend the majority of my desk. So I'm going to break it down kind of piece by piece and explain to you guys the different aspects of the setup and, you know, what I do to stay productive and have everything going here. I have my decorations above here felt worthy to mention uh, just, you know, posters, a pennant, um, my two laptop cases from college. I really like the stickers that I put on them, so I stuck them on the wall. And then a piece that my friend gave me here and something I got, I think, at a thrift store or a dollar store. And then another piece that I got from my friend Bernardo, amazing artist. 
thank you so much for that fam so starting here in the corner we have kind of like what i would call my music section so we have my turntable and then my speaker and some records back there i uh, still have to do an update to the record collection but you know i have a couple titles back here you know just when i want to play something on the record player right now we have control vinyl um, that we're using to you know use with my dj software so here we have my S4, my controller, hooked up obviously to the turntable and to the headphones, and usually playing music, um, controlling it out here on this laptop. I have two different laptops and they both serve different purposes. So I'll explain that a little bit in a sec, but basically music comes out here and it's also connected to this screen, which I usually have on some kind of web browser. Obviously keyboard, mouse for the laptop, um, just using it with the displays. And in the middle, I have my PlayStation, which is down here, currently doing some backups um, so that's why it's plugged into the external drive, but basically, um, using it, um, as the monitor in the middle. And I love having it like that just cause I can sit my desk and this is basically the view that I get. Also worth mentioning is that I have my camera here. Usually it'll be my work camera that's sitting out here, but, uh, with the COVID-19 quarantine, I'm not working. So I have my film, uh, Canon SLR and it's just sitting here and whenever I want to snap a pic I'll grab it here and then I have a book Usually I'll have some kind of coffee table book or book that I can just kind of pick up when I'm bored and page through uh, That'll usually be sitting here and usually my camera will be sitting on top charging So here I have my second laptop. I mainly use this for work um, photo editing and video editing I have a little mini journal that I've been keeping during the quarantine and then obviously um my planner that I keep organized. Uh, I have, you know, a page for every day of the year and I write down all the to-do lists that I need to do for that day um, in the planner. And then a couple more entertainment notes. Uh, this mic has been getting a ton of use in the quarantine. Very useful, especially when playing games and hanging out with friends and Zoom calls. Absolutely essential. Um, then obviously the PS4 controller and headphones hooked up to the controller because I play on a monitor, so I'm always using headphones. Um, got my trusty Shika T4 always on hand, always ready, so I can either grab it in my pocket or use it to snap a picture if I need something here. I uh, have a random lint roller and then holders for my pens and then hard drives, uh, more hard drives, hard drives and cables, and then old planners from other years or just miscellaneous notebooks. Also worth noting that I have my two plants back here. One of them is kind of dead and the other one is just chilling. So. Shout out to my plants, want to get some more soon, but don't really have a lot of space. Okay, so back zoomed in for this section, just at the normal zoom. Um, basically just miscellaneous stuff. I have like packaging materials and other knickknacks that I need, like memory card holders, locks. Um, I have business cards back there. I have a bunch of candles, like writing utensils and like Polaroid stuff um, over there. Like I mentioned, miscellaneous cables, a little money bin. So just kind of like, general miscellaneous stuff that just kind of sits here on this table. So continuing to go through this, I have this photo of Rick Ross at 11 that I printed out. Love it, got it at Thacker's Film Lab. Shout out to my guys. One of my favorite pictures and it's the only picture that I took that I printed. So there it is, it's awesome. Um, and then I have this amazing piece that a family friend and an artist drew for me. It's awesome, thank you so much for that. Um, I don't even know if you speak English, but this is amazing and it sits here right in my room. Also worth noting that I have my Hi8 camera and my Polaroid, both of which get used a ton. So I have them here kind of to grab and go as needed. And then I have my mini film scanner. The, the film negatives and stuff I actually keep under my bed. My bed storage is kind of limited. So I try and keep like stuff like old skateboards and new skateboards under my bed and as well as film negatives. Cause I can't really keep uh, too much else just cause the bed is so low. There's like a a beam that extends under that kind of blocks me from storing too much stuff. And then under here we have skateboards and then miscellaneous organizational stuff, stuff to sell, just bags, um, stuff that I bought that I haven't used over the years that I just kind of keep here as storage. Um, and then this is all kind of on a folding table. Um, it's kind of a really temporary setup and I might eventually get a cube organizer for this, um, but I kind of am using this folding table as is and it's served its purpose well, so no reason to switch it up now. Old press passes, uh, random stuff, so I'll get to an event, pull off the wristband and just toss it in there. It's cool to kind of like keep the memories and I just kind of dump it all in there, which whatever. Um, I'll go through it one day or something like that. So moving on to the second cube organizer that I have in my room. Um, here I have tapes for my Hi8, a print that I got from the Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam, a random toolbox with 
miscellaneous knickknacks and stuff a bunch of batteries that i actually need to recycle i don't throw out my batteries which is a good habit but i need to recycle all these and i guess it's not good having a bunch of like random spent batteries in your room but they're just kind of sitting there uh teddy bear that i got when i was a kid my graduation hats i don't know why they're sitting here but they're here and they're just sitting there um little supreme knickknack and a fan that doesn't really get used too much and then three kind of cube organizers of storage um just miscellaneous knickknacks cleaning supplies and other stuff um and yeah i have another third bookcase so i'll show you guys this now but these are books that i've read in the past um and books that i might reference in the future that i keep in here um i've read all of these and when i read them i put them kind of in this section but it's kind of full so the new ones don't get put down here as often not gonna get into my closet because that's a whole nother video and it's a mess right now but I have my closet with my two tripods hanging and my work bag here and then as i mentioned fitness equipment here and then moving on this is my dresser and as you can see it's another bookshelf this is where i keep more recent books and books that i need to read and kind of like these coffee table style books um, like that and just like miscellaneous books uh, a couple decorations up top and then my Guy Fieri signed chicken guy hats from the South Beach Food and Wine Festival. Awesome. Um, and then, you know, some Marlins memorabilia. Here I keep all of my clothes as well, just kind of miscellaneous clothes that I'm using every day. Um, just gets used in here. Usually I'll also have like a laundry bin sitting around here, but I took it out just because I don't want my dirty laundry in the video. Um, and then I have my two chairs that I use when watching the TV. So this is kind of a final overview of my room. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you guys that have requested it um, are inspired to make your own and show off your quarantine setup because I would love to see it. Um, but this is the 2020 edition of my room. It's gonna be awesome to see you know, the transformation once I move into my own place at the end of the year. And it's been really productive to be quarantined here in my room because I've kind of adjusted it to specifications. It's obviously taken a lifetime of progress to get my room to this stage. So uh, there's still more to go and there's stuff that, you know, I've obviously just accumulated over the years of having that I might not necessarily need, but I love and that's what makes my room my room.